Uh, it was developed uh, to uh, aid, um, uh, to help uh, disabled uh, people in Japan. Yeah. Um, um, had uh, deaf. Yes. And so uh, other people could communicate with them. And that was the basis uh, for, for the system in Japan. Okay. And um, now it's um, developed um, in a second step uh, for s uh, simultaneous translation in many uh, languages. Huh? It's, uh, it supports at the moment uh, 19 languages. 19? 19. 19 languages, okay. yes. And it's a learning system. So it's getting better and better. So it's Japanese is perfect. Yeah. And um, German, uh, for example, German, it has to learn. But it will learn because there's artificial intelligence in the background. It's a cloud-based system. And so it's getting better and better with everything it's translating. And uh, it's the first time you present it? Uh? Yes, that's the first time we present it in Europe. And which are the uh, ideal customer for this product? Um, in the first step, um, there are around about 100 organizations in Japan which already use it um, um, in order to communicate with disabled people. For example, hospitals uh, and, so, and uh, public authorities. Um, when they have to communicate with disabled people, with people uh, right there, uh, there is uh, the sign language and so and n only a few people are able to communicate with deaf people and so, and so this problem is solved.